the earth went around the sun. Hey everybody, good morning. Thanks for joining us. We're doing yet again another extended tummy tuck. Uh, this is an interesting case for a couple of reasons. She's got, as you can see here, these dotted line, the long C-section, which is pretty long for a C-section, but whatever. It's a little crooked, so it, we had to be real careful about designing her incision so she wouldn't have a, uh, a uh, crooked uh, groin incision here, which is you know, not something we want. So we've already done some lipo contouring and a breast augmentation on uh, this nice lady. So we're going to start our extended tummy tuck now. And if you recall, you know, uh, I classify a tummy tuck as a mini standard or extended depending on or based on the length of the incision. You know, this incision here is kind of a wrap around. It goes over the horizon on each side and almost down to the table. Um, we need this extended incision with this patient to correct some fullness that she has, uh, you know, laterally. This patient's gained and lost a bunch of weight. So she's left with the residual effects of that. And we're gonna correct most of it today. to keep in mind uh, with this patient since she did have some lipo contouring of her back and flanks she will have a little bit of communication between the front and back uh, so it can sometimes make it a little difficult to discern whether the fluid will have in her drains is serum or old to mess in fluid draining through the drains versus any potential bleeding that she'll have after surgery from the tummy tuck. Okay, we're just going to keep going here. And as we come across veins, small vessels will address those. You can see a, a nice sized one right here. And Lewis will grab that and we'll cauterize both sides of it. Pop. The bill line weaver pop, I call it. Booking Kidzio on YouTube. Thanks for joining us this morning. All right. We got another vessel right there. Mm -hmm. It's funny how that works. There's the same vessel on each side of the body. I'm being sarcastic, obviously. It's a good reminder, though, eh? All right, let's keep rolling here. Plot there. Plot there. Steady wins the race. A lot of 
aja So as we come up and raise this skin and fat flap, they'll be coming upon that C-section scar, and uh, that typically slows us down a little bit as we proceed upwards towards the belly button. But uh, as soon as we get by that, it should be smooth sailing. So we'll go down to the fascia here. And I went into that vessel we got already. You see that shiny, glistening tissue? That's the fascia. And we'd like to go from known to unknown. You know there's no scars, hernias here. So it's pretty much smooth sailing. We'll come from both sides. Tissue, that's the fascia. And we'd like to go from known to unknown. You know there's no scars. Danielle Crenshaw on Facebook, a familiar, a familiar face, so to speak. Thanks for joining us on Facebook. I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent with our streams. So that we can talk to our friends a little bit more often. Okay, lift this up.
We're almost at the belly button. Got to cut up a little bit more. section scar. Okay, we want to take a cuff of skin just long enough to create a nice innie.
could you dab this here? I want to see what's... Give us all this jazz here. Oh, man. Let's go raise this up. Steps large. Down. Nice. Okay. Got a little bit of serum coming up through there. Expected that. Went through that 2 0 closure. Stasis, you can see how it's just declaring itself. Let's lift this up.
see where this bleed is coming from. This is a big tummy tuck. So here you go. Make sure this is bone dry. Man, oh man. Let's pull this down again, take a peek. We can safely remove this flap, so it'll make it easier for us to finish up our dissection. What do you say? Okay, good. Let's lift this up one more time. Taking off half of this flap. Now we'll take off the other half. Okay, we've got a pretty nice size flap here. Pretty heavy flap too. You can see this. This. Mm -hmm. Pretty big. So we're gonna take these two triangles and put them on our scale here. We're a trusted nurse, Shannon. Well, give us a weight. Okay. We're a trusted nurse, Shannon. We'll give us a weight. Where our trusted nurse Shannon will give us a weight. It looks like it says 
2.2 kilograms, right? Yep. And four pounds, 13 ounces. Wow, almost five pounds. So that's the quickest way to lose five pounds. Can't lose that in an hour on the gym, on the treadmill. Okay, so let's keep going. Now we have easier flap to work with, to manage as we move on. Okay, here's the edge of our rib. Lower costal margin here, lateral. We'll come to the middle, to the sternum. And that'll be the end of our dissection. And our flap creation. We want to do a lot of housekeeping here, Lewis. It's suspicious that she might have a tendency to want to bleed a little bit. So we want to make sure we minimize that. Yeah, this will close, good. Let's see this side, that side looks good already. Okay, so let's look around. Then we're gonna to have to also reduce this pesky little hernia. Shannon, can I have a 2 0 Braylon? Let's keep looking. Okay, let's go to the hernia now. Okay. Okay, so you can see the small hernia here. And we want to really clean up the point that's exiting, which I think is right about here, so that we can have a large forceps. Just one second. Once we clean this up, it should be easier to reduce this. where you came from. See, sometimes this is like stuck, like here. And that'll keep it from going back in all the way. this small opening even though we're going to fold the muscles over it when we reduce our diastasis. Hold this. Flat back. So I love the braille on it. Just got the edge on it where it holds the knot and it's even though it's permanent it's soft so it's not going to come sticking up you know Shannon what's the heaviest braylon that we can get just curious it might be a consideration for a plication stitch in the future you know I do like the double loop maybe it's got a double loop braylon Long. There you go. Okay. 
Let's pull our marker out of the holster and define the diastasis. So when you hold, when we hold this flap up, you can see this little valley developing here between the muscle edges. So I'm going to kind of clarify that in preparation for repairing it. And you know, diastasis, you'll, you'll hear that term used in multiple ways, rectus diastasis, diastasis recti, or just diastasis. All that means is the space, okay, between the rectus muscles. So we're going to bring them back to where they were in their pre-pregnancy position. And that should give her a much flatter tummy. Thanks, Lewis. Throw that instrument at me. I'm not looking. You know, in a real operating room, they put it in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can see I'm edge to edge, and about a centimeter beyond that on either side, and that allow will allow me to bring this together without issue. Tear the fascia. Got this diastasis nicely zipped up. How many procedures do we have on for our minor day? Three? Oh, that's not bad. Suddenly I'm happy again. <laughs> Good, good, good. So, technically we should be finished minor day before follow-up day, before training day. A lot of days put into one day.
We need to do two things here, Lewis. We need to mark 12 o'clock, and we need to uh, cut that little skin tag, skin edge, off of that umbilicus there so it's a clean cuff. Ooh. Can you get an iris, please? Look at that. Nice. Now you can see, once again, I love this demonstration. Look at this. I can like I almost push my hand straight through to her spine. And here, it's rigid, rigid. Okay. So what I'm going to do, she's got a little edge on this cuff of umbilicus. I'm going to clean that up so I don't bring that through. Let's get uh, another double looped. Shannon, we will need a second um, 2-0 Vicro. Deanna, what's the view like on my camera? I see you preferentially picking Lewis's camera, and I'm getting a little jealous. <laughs> Why is it going in and out? Yeah, I don't have this in my ear again. We need to work on, am I gonna have to have like another headband on there to push it in my ear? I should get like a Lakers, a Lakers sports headband to keep my earpiece in. Today is a blinking day. Okay, I'm gonna look up in the manual how to fix blinking days. All right. Oops, come on, come on. Hold it, get a little tamponade. Stop. Muscle edge there causing a little bit of bleeding, which we will fix. Lot. It's already stopped. Good. Deanna, do you have those shortened clips available for this case? I don't understand what that means. So what you're saying is, yeah, it is possible, but not right now. Are you saying that it's something that you can fix? What, so when can they be fixed? Okay, so they, so they can be fixed. Okay, okay. Someday, Lewis. I'm gonna have a great production and all the videos are gonna be amazing. And we're gonna have 100,000 subscribers and lots of banter from all over the world. Someday, I hope I live to see it. When are we gonna get somebody else in, in the control room to interview? Okay, what's our day look like on Wednesday, Shannon? Do we remove, wow, we have, okay. That's a nice little day, eh? As they say in Canada. It's a good day for the United States too. A whole blessed day. Good. 
cut, cut, cut. Okay. Can uh, you give me that two hours so I could clean this up here? And I would like you to hold this flap like this. You don't have a you don't have a tool ready to go. Pull this. If you could sort of get the suction, you could hold this up like this. Okay. Back up. Yesenia on Facebook. Good day to you too. I'm not going to embarrass myself with my bad Spanish. Okay. Maybe I'll have Lewis answer that one. She said, Buenos dias on Facebook. At least that's what Deanna said. It said, Good idea? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe Facebook auto corrected her. I guess we'll never know was. Okay. Of this before all the suffering <laughs> Cut. can I have a three o vicro to put this down okay Oof, my shoulder's killing me Can we crack the table a little bit? Okay, thanks. Can we bring the table down a little bit? Okay, just enough so that I'm not spasming my traps. Let's go. Crack the table just a little bit more. Wait. Go ahead.
pinch. Amazing how much fluid that makes, huh? Take this out. Take this off. Can uh Give me a uh, force up. Uh huh. Two up. Can I get a towel? Lucy, you have a towel? Blue towel? You don't? Okay. It's a nice flat tummy, huh?
Nice. Tom, would you tilt slightly to Lewis? To Lewis the Great? No, oh, that's I'm not Lewis. Yes. Now, I know you heard great and you thought you thought it was me. Okay, I don't know. I understand, Tom. Okay, can I have um, a drain and a 3 0 nylon? All right, we're placing our drain now. Joe Bean. Joe Bean on the scene. All right. I want the three O Vicral next, young Lewis.
We're gonna need another 3-0 Vical. Give me that 4-0 Lewis. Next stitch. Yep, this is a super nice tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be ultra happy. Yeah. Not just happy, ultra happy. She's got a little hernia fixed. Diastasis repair, super low scar, you know, it's awesome. Switch sides. Wow. Wow. You want to go take open that up for me? or Thursday. Back. Say so, yes, looks beautiful. Okay. You have to do Yeah, all good. Hold that. Yes. No, no, no. I want two old bike roll. We didn't use the... Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Hold this up. A bean. You hold this like this to follow me. Wait. Attention once in a while during general surgery, residency, some good old days. Love, Lewis, it's love, I tell you. Force up clamp. Tom, would you tilt to the window, please? I don't want to confuse you by using names. Tilt away from the grate. That was actually pretty fun. 
funny. Okay, let's do something else. Let me see. Now that actually comes together nicely. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit here. Let me see this. Hold up for a second. Wait, wait, wait. Take that off. It is? Good. Well, I came in on Saturday and someone left the heat on everywhere and kind of upset me, you know? We, we don't need a party going on in here, you know what I mean? Attracting a party at night, because they feel it, you know? Can I have another O, please? Yes, ma'am. They feel it, they do. But, you know, Tigger, out of all the dogs I've ever had in my life, I've never had a dog that liked pillows so much. I mean, he, he knows how to use a pillow, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like he pulls it underneath him, yeah. or he positions him in such a way that he can get the most comfortable sleep. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. She'd knock them all off. Yeah. That was so awesome, dude. She was so awesome. Yeah. And he's like, like, how does this dog know to do that? You know what I mean? Did you see that video I sent you that dog flipping over in the air? Yeah. How incredible is that? How do you teach a dog to do that? And to trust that your owner is going to catch you. You know? I didn't see that. No. No, I have not. Dogs are fascinating to me. Art. Art and Amira on Facebook. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you watching our stream. Candace Nicole, we can't wait to give you a flat tummy and a snatched waist. Whatever that means. <laughs> Because it means, it means a lot of different things to a lot of people, but I get you. I remember when I was a kid, snatch was like a dirty word. So I'm uncomfortable using it. My brain is trained that way.
along Can I have a sitting stool please Thanks. Louis can I have your assistance for a second please I want to pull these two edges just hold this up like this uh -huh. good 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 mm -hmm. Drain three or nylon. Oh man, what's going on? So, by the way, Shannon, um, our plumber came and said that that room is not equipped for washer dryer. So I'm glad I went and got those. Just, just yet another th another issue. That's what it is. There's like a cold water supply. There's no hot water back there, and I don't. And I do not know what that odd other thing is, but uh, it's going to be a problem now. Oh yeah. How about we investigate things thoroughly in the future? About that. Everybody's so like cock certain about things. And then the idiot goes out and buys it. You know? <sighs> Can I have a washer dryer for a room that's not equipped for a washer dryer? Thank you. Put it right there where it'll never work. <laughs> it looks good though. Yeah, but you think it's funny. It's not your $2,000. What are you going to tell you how to take it out of my pain? <laughs> well, where do you want this? Pick anywhere, because it won't work there either. <laughs> we'll just show everyone our nice washer and dryer that doesn't work. The guy's like, hey, I have the wrong hookup. And I'm thinking to myself, no, you have the wrong room. You don't have the wrong hookup. Apparently one of those things is for air. I guess there must have been an air compressor back there. You know, to like when they blow that painful air on your sensitive teeth at the dentist's office. So, you know, that guy was a creepy guy. You're watching.
We only want to wash with cold water. Because we only do coloreds here. <laughs> we don't do white. Tilt the table back to me, please. Can I have a 4 0? Nice. All right, the last step will be to bring out this belly button. Give her as nice of an any as we can. up. Alright. What's my total time, Shannon? Three forty five. Mm. So it'll be about just under four hours in this case. It's reasonable.
across the midline. You're in the danger zone. I had a dream about him last night. I texted, that's why I called him this morning. That's wrapping that up. We're just finishing up our extended tummy tuck, lipo sculpture of the flanks and bra area, and breast augmentation. The case took just under four hours to complete. Dr. Barston will wake her up after her dressings and support garment are placed. She'll stay in recovery for anywhere from one to three hours before she'll go home. We'll see her tomorrow morning for her first dressing change and wound check. Thanks so much for watching us, and we look forward to seeing you on our next stream. Have a great day.